Okay, the problems in this section involve graphing parabolas. Now, we've already looked at parabolas before uh, in a previous uh, section. You might have seen it also in a pre-calculus class, but now we're going to look at them a little bit more. Now, we're actually going to focus on parabolas that are not necessarily going to be functions, but we're still going to take a look at the graphs of those. You should be familiar with the four different models that are given in the notes section that follow along uh, with this particular section. There's a link that I have in the description if you look below uh, that's a link to my lecture notes and that's going to show all four different models. Now those are going to be important for deciding which direction the graph is going to go. Now before we get to those models let's first answer some preliminary information here. The vertex, we can tell right away by the way this looks here, we don't have any parentheses around with the X or the Y. So because of that, that tells me that it's going to be centered at 0, 0. So therefore my vertex is going to be at uh, 0, 0 there because again, I don't have any parentheses around that. Uh, later in this section, we will talk about ones that are centered at uh, something else, at HK, and that's going to have parentheses that are going to go inside there. Now, something else we can find is the focal width. The focal width basically is how wide the parabola is uh, at its focus. And we'll take a look at that uh, when we do the graph. We'll, uh, that, that kind of detail we need to actually see exactly how wide or narrow the graph is. That is always going to be the absolute value of the number in front of the non-squared variable. So in that case, we're going to do absolute value of 8, and that's going to equal 8. So now we have that one. Once we have this information complete, now we're ready to, uh, to draw the graph. Now in order to draw the graph, we have to look at our four models and look at this equation. That's going to tell us whether the graph opens up, down, left, or right. We look at all the equations and we see which one this most closely resembles. And the one that it's going to match is the one that looks like this. It's going to be y squared equals 4ax. That particular one is one, a parabola, that opens up to the right based on the, the, uh, the model that we have, the picture that's uh, in the notes. So my focus is going to be to the right of the vertex, and my directrix, uh, is, is, which is also part of your definition for, uh, for graphing parabolas, uh, that's also going to run to the left. So the a value is, is going to be how you find out how far this is in each direction. So that's where the a comes from in the formula. The a is used for the graph here. So we know it goes to the right, however, the distance from your vertex to the focus or from the vertex to the directrix, that's going to be our A value. So we have to figure out what the A is. So we're going to match these two formulas here. Now I already have Y squared and Y squared match and my X's match. All I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take the 4A and set that equal to 8. That's the number in front of the X there. And if I divide both sides by 4, I'll get that my A value is equal to 2. So this is what we're going to use in order to graph this. Now, in the notes, I did provide some formulas where you could find the exact focus and directrix by using formulas, by plugging in the, uh, the vertex and the A value, you can get that directly. Now, instead of doing that, I'm actually going to get all the values off the graph itself. This way, we don't have to worry about memorizing extra formulas. We can actually just read the values off the graph, and we'll get the focus and directrix. So now let's go ahead and graph that one. Uh, first, you want to always begin by plotting the vertex. So the vertex is going to be right there at 0, 0. This model says that I need to go to the right to get the focus. So what you do is you're going to, you start here, and because the A value is 2, we're going to go two places to the right, and we're going to make a dot there. That's going to be your focus. Then we're going to go two places behind it. We'll draw in our vertical line there. And the vertical line, uh, that's your directrix. So since we've done that, working with the A value, went to this way and to the other direction, we can actually now uh, list those down. The focus, we just write the coordinate for that. That's going to be 2 comma 0. Your directrix, it's a vertical line, starts with x equals, and it's going it's to go through the x coordinate, or go through the, across the x-axis, I should say, uh, at negative 2. So that's all the information. Focus is 2, 0. Director says x is equal to negative 2. So I have, I have that information. Now, the last thing I have to do is just draw the graph. Now, uh, the way it is right now, I only have really one point. So I don't really know how wide or how narrow to make this. That's why I need two other, other points. And what we're going to use to find these points is we're going to use the focal width. Again, that's how wide the parabola is at the focus. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the focus and You'll take the, this value of 8, we're gonna, if we take that value of 8 and split it up, divide by 2, 
That means that we're going to go up four and down four, so that way the whole width is going to be eight. So from here, we're going to go up four, we go up four, make a dot. We're going to go down four, make a dot down here. Now I have my curve, and it looks just like this. That means now the whole width here, that whole thing is going to be eight uh, in between there. So this is now going to be our completed graph. The graph always opens up towards uh, your focus and it always opens up away from your directress. Directress always runs behind it.